Hello guys, once again, this is Sir Boyet. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, ay mag-subscribe na para maging updated sa aking mga videos. Maraming salamat po! Plants reproduce in different ways or moods. It can be reproduced sexually or reproduce asexually. Moods of reproduction in flowering plants. Sexual reproduction in plants like animals. Plant sexual reproduction involves the fertilization of male reproductive cell and female reproductive cell. In plants, it is done after pollination. Flowering plants reproduce sexually through their flowers by pollination. Pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma. Plant sexual reproduction happens when pollen grains are transferred from the anther, male, into the stigma, female. The agent of pollination are wind, bird, human, insects, animals, and water. Pollination. There are two types of pollination, self-pollination and cross-pollination. Self-pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the same flower or to the stigma of another flower in the same plant. Cross-pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of a flower to the stigma of different flower that belongs to another plant but of the same kind. Once pollen grains enters the stigma, it swells and grows a long tube that travels to the style until it reaches the ovary. The tube releases the sperm cells into the ovule to fertilize the egg cell. The fertilized egg cell and the ovule itself develop into seed. The ovary then enlarges and thickens its walls to become fruit. This will be the receptacle for the seeds. The seeds can be can eventually grow into new plants. Flowering plants are almost 90% in the plant kingdom. These are also called angiosperm. Angiosperm produce flowers and have seeds that are enclosed in a container or case or called ovary. 
The flowers are the most distinctive feature of this group. Example of plants that reproduce sexually are apple, papaya, tomato, squash, eggplant, orange, bell pepper, avocado, and other plants that bear fruit. Plants reproduce in different ways or moods. It can reproduce sexually or reproduce asexually. Asexual reproduction is a reproduction in plants that do not involve the fertilization of sperm cell and egg cell. New plant can grow from roots, stems, and leaves of a parent plant. This process is called vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation is a form of asexual reproduction where new plants are produced from one part of a parent plant. Two types of asexual reproduction. We have natural vegetative reproduction and the other one is artificial vegetative reproduction. Natural vegetative reproduction is a strategy by which plants have developed to self-propagate naturally through stem, root, or leaf without human interference. We have bulb, tuber, rhizome, shoots or suckers, and runners or stones. Bulb is a round fleshy stem found underneath the ground surrounded by fleshy leaves. Examples are onion, garlic, lilies, and tulip. Tuber is an enlarged portion of an underground stem that contains stored food. Examples are potato and sweet potato. Rhizomes is a stem that grows horizontally underground. Examples are ginger, bamboos, and lotus. Shoots or suckers are small plants that grow around the main plants. These shoots grow their own roots and can be separated from the main plant. Examples are banana plant and gabi or taro. Runners or stolon is a horizontal stem with buds. It grows along the surface of the ground. Strawberry is an example of plant with runners. Artificial vegetative reproduction are methods that can be used which can artificially propagate plants. Examples are cuttings, Layering, grafting, and marketing. Cutting is any vegetative part of a plant, such as stem, leaf, and root, are used to produce a new plant. Layering, a stem is bent over that part of it is covered with soil. After the covered part forms roots, the new plant may be cut from the parent plant. Grafting Two healthy stems from different plants are taken and put together. Rows, oranges, grapes can be propagated by grafting. Marketing This is done by removing portion of the bark of healthy stem. The exposed part of the stem where the bark used to be is covered with coconut husk containing a small amount of good soil. Modes of reproduction in non-flowering plants Non-flowering plants are those that do not ever produce flowers. These plants can still reproduce sexually or asexually. 
Gymnosperms are seeds producing non flowering plants, which includes conifers, cycads, ginkgo, and nematophytes. Ferns and mosses are non flowering plants, like fungi, they reproduce with spores formation or sporulation. The spores germinate into new plants as they carry by wind and land on an environment with favorable conditions. Ferns can reproduce sexually by their modified stems or rhizomes. Now, let us recall. Plants reproduce in different ways or moods. It can be reproduced sexually or can be reproduced asexually. In sexual reproduction, there are two types of pollination, self-pollination and cross-pollination. In reproduction, asexual reproduction, we have natural vegetative reproduction and artificial vegetative reproduction. Natural vegetative reproduction examples are bulb, tuber, rhizome, shoots or suckers, and runners or stolon. And artificial vegetative reproduction example are cutting, layering, grafting, and marketing. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos update. Thank you. This is Sir Boyer.